What was it for you? What was it that drew you to fly fishing? Maybe it all started when you were just a kid, back when being outdoors was better than anything. Or maybe it took you a little while to realize that fly fishing provided a secret means of escape to the kind of quietness that can only be found out on the water. You almost always see something out there that you've never seen before. I can honestly tell you I've never had two days that are even close to the same. There's always something incredibly amazing about nature, just a constant show of, uh, of unique and beautiful things. As fly fishers, we are in love with fly fishing. But are we loving it to death? Are the kinds of amazing outdoor experiences we dream of getting harder and harder to find? Healthy ecosystems, angler access, and robust fish stocks are central to the future of fly fishing. But the Earth's population is growing, and with that growth comes pressure to seek out and take full advantage of its natural resources. While fly fishing as we know it today does face challenges, together we have the opportunity, if not the responsibility, to shape the future of our sport. Fly fishing has taken me to beautiful places and I've seen beautiful things. I want to see this for the future generations too. And I, want to, I want to see them enjoy it. And it's up to us. Fly Fishers International has spent the past 50 plus years working to protect, preserve, and cultivate the sport and the art of fly fishing. Through funding conservation projects, developing educational programs, and encouraging a strong sense of community, we strive to advance the joy of fly fishing worldwide. The light in someone's eyes and the sparkle and the excitement of it, it doesn't matter if you're male, female, young or old, that first fish on the fly is just pretty incredible. Teaching and learning have been a central pillar of Fly Fishers International since Lee Wolf and other dedicated anglers first proposed the idea of a single voice for fly fishing back in 1964. Along with curating the Fly Fishers International Museum, FFI manages a comprehensive learning center to ensure that the breadth of knowledge gained over generations can benefit tomorrow's anglers. I learned about Fly Fishers International through their casting certification program. It was something that I'd been aware of for quite a number of years and something that I'd sort of set as a goal for myself, I think, to do one day. For those who don't fly fish, the sport can seem like a solitary one. But most of us recognize that fly fishing isn't so much about the catching, but about the time spent on the water, together. That's always what we remember most vividly. Fly fishing for me was a, was a choice in life. It's a, it's a way of life. The experience that we can have, you know, with knowing people from all around the world is something that is, I love that, you know, I love that. Always you learn from, from the one you have next to you, uh, the way you fish, my way, whatever, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. The real enjoyment comes from the excitement and the celebration and the handing off of the information that results in somebody else catching a fish. And when people succeed at it, they really have one of those moments in their lives where it's just pure happiness, you know, and that's very fun to see. How would your life today be different if you had never picked up that first fly rod or tied that first fly? What path might you have followed if not the one that wound its way far upstream or sliced out into the open ocean and eventually led you here? If you want fly fishing to offer the kinds of experiences that we all fell in love with, and if you want to give others the chance to feel that same pull, we invite you to join us. Fly Fishers International.